Hi guys, today we are talking about Laplace, Z, and Fourier transforms. A Laplace transform converts a function of time into a function of complex frequency. These were discovered by Pierre Laplace when he was doing his work on probability theory. A Z transform is a relative of the Laplace transform, and Laplace discovered these as well. Just like the Laplace transform, the z-transform converts a function of time into a function of complex frequency. But where the Laplace transform is used on continuous systems, the z-transform is used on discrete or sampled systems. So how do you go from the Laplace transform to the z-transform? You start with the continuous time signal x of t, and you take the Laplace transform of this signal which is shown below, where s equals sigma plus j omega. The z-transform can be derived from this equation by sampling the continuous time input. So the sampled signal is x of m of t of s, and we set t of s equal to 1. Thus, x of, x of m of t of s just becomes x of m. We plug this into the Laplace transform, and we end up with the second equation shown on the screen. We then set z equal to e of s, and we get x of z is the summation from 0 to infinity of x times m times z to the minus m, which is the equation for the z-transform. So now that we've looked at Laplace and z-transforms, we want to find out what the similarities between Laplace, Fourier, and z-transforms are. It turns out that these are all close related in that they all use complex exponential shown in red as their base function. And the Laplace transform is a generalization of the Fourier transform of a continuous time signal, and the Z transform is a generalization of the Fourier transform of a discrete time signal. Another relationship between the three transforms is the relationship of the S and Z planes. The S plane is a complex 2D visualization of the Laplace transform, where the Y axis is the Fourier transform. The z-plane is a complex 2D visualization of the z-transform. If you took the y-axis of the s-plane and formed a circle with it, you get the z-plane, complete with the outer edge of the circle on the z-plane being the Fourier transform. 